Welcome back to the Jack Sparrow channel. I am Jack, and I am on my way to work. Yep. When you can't pillage anything or pilfer anything, I guess you have to work at nine to five. Oh well. It's life. So there I was. I'm polishing off my fifth Impossible Whopper of the day while washing it down with a soy latte from Starbucks and surfing Amazon looking for soy protein supplements to take after my Pilates classes when what should happen but Jeremy from the quartering reads my mind and leaves me a three letter word comment soy Speaking of soy, this person driving the Scion XB in front of me is going a really, really slow. Let's give him a nudge. Uh, <laughs> and I could not stop laughing because it was random. It was very random. It was posted on, you know, he's a comment posted on a video from yesterday with the whole Ryan and Doom Cop kerfuffle, which apparently will be handled. And that is good. I like to see community, unity, and peace. I, I don't like drama. And it's not my favorite. Uh, I, the drama that I like, uh, the drama I like is talking about people like Bill Gates and stupid people like that. Or morons on Twitter. That's also fun. Um, yeah, this guy's a should be nice. He's an old guy. Yeah, cut him some slack, you know. But anyway, but you better believe I'm going to be flooring around him. Um, so I gotta say, I really do like it when when fellow YouTubers plop a free a free um, <laughs> a free topic in front of your lap. And today's topic is going to be about how easily offended and triggered people are, you know? Because, um, you know, somebody might see somebody post, especially a big channel, they might see someone post something like, you know, that on your video. And, you know, a lot of people that are socially, that are just like socially inept, but on social media would see that and just freak the heck out. Seriously, freak the heck out. Um, see, Jeremy and I, we're about the same age. We come from a, uh, a, a long and storied, you know, way long ago past called the 80s. And in the 80s, we played things like Atari or Nintendo. We went outside on our bicycles we played stickball with our friends. Good. <clears throat> That's assuming that uh, Jeremy had friends. I'm sure he did. He's a very nice man. Uh, <laughs> coffee for the working man. No, we uh, we we did stuff outside, you know, or play, or, or had. You know, our friends come over and watch, you know, movies like Arachnophobia or something like that. That's what we did in the 80s and 90s. We had fun like that. Social media didn't exist. Social media, the closest it got anywhere in the 90s was AOL chat rooms. <laughs> On dial-up. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh... So people that really tend to get really tweet, uh, these people that are on social media, it's their life, it's their life blood, it's everything to them. And they don't understand or they don't think about, sometimes a comment, a random comment, is just a random comment. Or sometimes it is something. So, you know, me, I, I look at something like this, and mind you, this isn't about Jeremy. Mind you, this is this. I don't. I don't really care. Actually, I'm flattered the fact that, hey, Jeremy's got 1.1 or 2 million subs. 
Even if he did think I was soy. <laughs> That's pretty flattering, leaving a comment. Oh, well, you know. But this isn't about that. This isn't, yeah. That's 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 not in the weeds. My point is is that we have a lot of snowflakes and weirdos on social media, on YouTube, on Twitter, on all the other things that would get triggered, freak the heck out, and then they get do some sort of like you know rebuttal video or or something. And I find that, and I've seen it before. I, I've seen this kind of stuff before, and it really it it, it, it makes me. Uh, should I say this? Disgusted. <laughs> Disgusted. I see this. And I think it's funny. What if it? What if he was talking about me? I don't care. I don't care. What if he's talking about Ryan or Doomcock? Probably Doomcock. He did get. Let's be honest here, guys. That whole situation, you know what? One thing I will say, I, look, Ryan I posted like a you know, thing on Twitter or something, a, a, a apology of sorts, but stood behind his words and said, I stand behind my words, that's that. But sorry I, if I pissed anybody off. I can respect that. I can definitely respect that. Never apologize for for what you actually say and what you actually believe or mean. If you mean, if you say it, you mean it. Don't take it back. But Doomcock did get his panties in a twist. Somebody must have swiped his freaking, you know, Texas double whopper for an impossible whopper yesterday or the other day. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway. So I mean, he could have been talking about any number of things. Some other comment, me, Doomcock, Ryan, I don't care. He just, maybe he likes soy. I don't know. Don't really care. It's not a thing. But it did make me think about that. That was one I, I thought about. I, was, I, I sat there and looked at it, I was like, that's incredibly random. Hmm. But then it made me think about the differences between uh, me, you know, and how I view social media. And, you know, the uh, a lot of the uh, people, SJW, Snowflakes, just, you know, weirdos, you know, how they view uh, social media and how they use social media. And how a lot of times these sort of things would happen. You'd have some sort of kerfuffle, you know, creating beef or drama. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know. That's really all I had to say about it. I just think it just made me think about um, big picture stuff and how our society is so dependent on social media where we don't understand um, social cues, we don't understand simple social um, things anymore, I guess you could say. Um, and I think Jeremy's funny. And I think it's funny that he left that comment. And I don't know, like I said, it was a free topic. It was a free topic. Not about Jeremy, mind you. Not about Jeremy. It's a free topic, uh, you know, as a um, insight to what our society is has kind of devolved into, where you can't uh, you can't look at simple words and just say, eh, whatever, and move on. You look at it and be like, well, what did they mean? <gasps> what could it be about? <gasps> And you freak out. Well, not everybody. Mm -mm. Anyway. <laughs> uh, this is Captain Jack saying, stay away from soy. It'll give you man boobs. Turning you, turn you into a snowflake. And, uh... 
that's about it. Thanks for the comment, Jeremy. You rock. <laughs> ah! I will see you later. Bye.